For the first three months of life, the respiratory rate is normally between 35 and 55 breaths per minute. This rate gradually decreases to 12 to 18 breaths per minute in children greater than 12 years of age. The heart rate in babies is also high relative to the heart rate in adults. It is initially about 100 to 150 beats per minute. By 12 years of age, the heart rate lowers to about 55 to 85 beats per minute. The blood pressure, in contrast, starts off lower than in adults, at about 65 to 85 systolic or 45 to 55 diastolic. The blood pressure then slowly rises to about 110 to 135 systolic or 65 to 85 diastolic in children greater than 12 years of age. Vital signs in the newborn are quite different than those in adults and older children. This video will be brief and the source of the data presented will be located at the top of the screen. Body temperature in the newborn is usually measured under the axilla, with a normal range between 36.5 and 37.5 degrees Celsius in an open crib. Some texts, however, such as Nelson Text for Copediatrics and Gomella's Neonatology, list an axillary temperature of 37.4 degrees Celsius as the upper limit of normal. The respiratory rate is much higher in newborns than in adults and older children. In the awake and calm newborn, the 5th percentile for respiratory rate is 35, while the 95th percentile is 60. It should be measured by counting the number of breaths taken across one whole minute, that is, for a full 60 seconds. The heart rate is also much higher than in adults and older children. In the awake and calm newborn, the 2nd percentile for heart rate is a little higher than 100 beats per minute, while the 98th percentile is around 160. The heart rate may increase above this upper limit with activity or while crying, and fall below the lower limit while sleeping. When necessary, blood pressure can be measured in the newborn by using a neonatal sized blood pressure cuff. The pediatric textbook, Current Diagnosis and Treatment Pediatrics, provides a very general range of systolic blood pressure on day one of life, between 50 and 70 mm mercury. Keep in mind that blood pressure correlates with postmenstrual age, amongst other factors, and that blood pressure normally rises in the first week of life. Reference tables are available that provide an extensive set of values based on postmenstrual age for systolic, diastolic, and mean arterial blood pressures on the first postnatal day and beyond. Beyond the immediate postnatal period, the arterial oxygen saturation should be 95% or greater in either the right foot or hand, and the difference between the right hand and foot should be 3% or less. Before displaying the data in table format, here's a graph showing how the heart rate decreases with age. The blue line indicates the 10th percentile, while the pink line indicates the 90th percentile. The data presented here is from a systemic review of observational studies, which can be found at the bottom of the screen. According to the data, the heart rate from 0 to 3 months of life is normally between 123 and 164 beats per minute. This gradually decreases to between 58 and 92 beats per minute. Now we'll see the 1st and 99th percentiles added to the graph, represented by a thin blue and pink line respectively. From 0 to 3 months of life, the lower limit for heart rate was shown to be 107 beats per minute, while the upper limit was 181. Between 15 and 18 years of age, the lower limit fell to 43, and the upper limit to 104. Here is the same data, now presented in table format. Clinically, it is important to use local reference ranges, which may have different age-based groupings, such as children aged 1 to 4 and 5 to 12 years, as opposed to what is shown here. In regard to this lecture, these values are only displayed for learning purposes. Generally speaking, the normal heart rate is faster in younger infants and slower in older children. These set of parameters can be difficult to recall, but maximum values are often provided on observational charts, along with visual cues, such as green, yellow, or red shading, which can be helpful for those with less experience. Before displaying the data in table format, here is a graph showing how the respiratory rate decreases with age. The blue line indicates the 10th percentile, while the pink line indicates the 90th percentile. The data presented here is from a systemic review of observational studies, which can be found at the bottom of the screen. 
According to the data, the respiratory rate from 0 to 3 months of life is normally between 34 and 57 breaths per minute. It gradually decreases to between 13 and 19 breaths per minute. Now we'll see the first and 99th percentiles added to the graph, represented by a blue and pink dash line respectively. From 0 to 3 months of life, the lower limit for respiratory rate was shown to be 25 breaths per minute, while the upper limit was 66. Between 15 and 18 years of age, the lower limit fell to 11 and the upper limit to 22. Here is the same data, now presented in table format. Clinically, it is important to use local reference ranges which may have different age-based groupings, such as children aged 1 to 4 years and 5 to 12 years, as opposed to what is shown here. In regard to this lecture, these values are only displayed for learning purposes. Generally speaking, the normal respiratory rate is faster in younger infants and slower in older children. These set of parameters can be difficult to recall, but max and min values are often provided on observation charts along with visual cues such as green, yellow, or red shading, which can be helpful for those with less experience.